Thank you. Honorable Minister, dear professors, um, dear soon-to-be graduates, very soon, uh, families and friends, members of the great Uangotsi community. This event marks an end of a journey, but also a beginning of a new journey as members of our esteemed alumni community. It's a beginning and an end in the same package. It has been a privilege to work with Wongotsi Institute. They have been an excellent partner, and I am personally very proud being the founding member from Alta University's side in launching this program. To see this ambition level and commitment to higher levels of civil service and public service that uh, this program has demonstrated. It is not a small number of people. Today it will become way stronger with you graduating. But I think this program, this collaboration with Wongotsi, is leaving a permanent mark in a positive way in the life of the citizens of Tanzania. And also yesterday and today, with the most recent cohort I have been working with, we have been speaking lots about how to mobilize the potential of these civic communities, the citizens, how to, how to collaborate with them, how to see the potential they have in advancing the cause of good government, good leadership, and welfare in Tanzania. We have been always with this program aiming for a measurable impact at three levels. Naturally, something that is very profound to many of you, as we learned yesterday morning when sharing the reflections of this journey. It's a very personal impact. Your growth as leader, becoming better versions of yourselves, being yourselves with more skill, the way I look, like to put it. It's not about trying to change you and tell you that try to be slightly different. No, that's not the message. But how to be yourself with more skill. In essence, that is the personal transformation. Secondly, we have been supporting this organizational transformation and little has been done by the Uongotsi Institute and the faculty. Most has been done by you. Having all the takeaways, having colleagues who have been exposed to the same program, getting back to your daily work, working with the same people you know, bringing something to the shared table. I think that is where the real impact, the organizational impact really happens. Thirdly, it's the impact on nations economies and the social structure and this is the highest level the system-wide chains that we have been promoting and advancing through this program and we can be happy when we have been making advancement at all these levels so we depend on you it's a heavy burden Adlai Stevenson a famous you know, American diplomat said once that, about leaders, that it is hard to lead a cavalry charge if you think you look funny on a horse. I believe that none of you who have already graduated or are formally graduating today or are really graduating today are anymore feeling that when leading you look funny on a horse. You are comfortable doing it. You are comfortable riding. Um, Robert Quinn from Ann Arbor, Michigan University speaks about moments, moments of greatness. And um, his key point is that all of us have our normal level of leadership. For some of us it's here, for some of us it's here, for some of us it's here. But that is what people have learned to expect from us. But then, if we continue this practice of sharing 
and reflecting, a practice you have been deep dived during this program, you can grow. Because you can recognize these moments of greatness when you go, went way beyond your normal performance. You had a moment of greatness. You solved a difficult problem. You had a dialogue that was supposed to be difficult and it turned out really well. And then later you feel that, what did I do differently? And also at times we are having these moments of smallness. And we should also reflect them. What was different? Was I too tired? Was I stressed? Didn't I focus enough? So that the problem I was solving only became worse. But taking some time for self-reflection alone, but also sharing it with colleagues, people who know you, your confidants. You can grow as a leader. You have more of these moments of greatness. No, they will never be the new normal. That's the whole point of them being moments of greatness, that you don't have them too often. Your moments of smallness won't be that deep. You recover faster. They don't happen so often. And most importantly, your overall level of leadership performance and leadership impact starts moving step by step upwards. And that is where the biggest impact comes from. So please, I know that you're most likely quite fed up, at least with me, this group discussions and reflections. Um, carry on, keep up this good practice, because that helps you to grow as leaders. Reflecting alone, reflecting with your colleagues and confidants. Today, as you are becoming our alumni at Aalto University, we are closing together with you a deal that is a commitment both ways. The school, the university, has a great responsibility of the reputation of, of its programs and research. I'm happy to tell you that in the QS University World Ranking, we have been, when looking at the so-called young universities in the world, universities that are less than 50 years of age, de depending how you count, we have 450 years of history, or only 10, 12 years of history. We have been steadily in the global top 10. You are part of a university in the global top 10. We are, by any metric, one of the top European research schools. We are globally, according to Financial Times newspaper, uh, among top 10 in gender balance. Something where you are playing a big role having balanced proportions, both women and men. Um, but also joining the alumni commitment means a new commitment to you. You need to live up to the values and ideals we so much discussed during the program. Um, and we expect you to give back. Give back to the society, the Tanzanian society, giving back to your teams, your communities. It's all about living up to the values. And having met all of you, some of you online, some of you face to face, I know you can do it. You are a group of people, a, lead, a group of leaders we can be really proud of. It has been a big investment from Uongotsi, from the government of Tanzania, from the government of Finland, and the list goes on. But it has been also a big investment of time from you personally. You have been supported by your family members, your loved ones. Today, and after today also, remember to show your gratitude to your family and your loved ones. They have been supporting you during this journey. On behalf of our Aalto University faculty and Aalto University management, I want to warmly congratulate you for this achievement. Be victorious. <laughs>